So I'm sharing with you my super easy coconut turmeric latte. It's really easy to make and it's so delicious and it's so comforting on a cold wintry day. So we're gonna start with heating up a little bit of milk. And this is actually a recipe that you'll find in my Lizard Wellbeing Yearbook 2, um, which gives larger quantities, but this is if you're just kind of making it for one. So I'm going to measure out a cupful of good quality nourishing milk. This is whole organic grass-fed milk from my local dairy. But you could use a plant alternative. You could make it using an oat milk or a coconut milk. Just need to warm it up gently because then you're going to melt the other ingredients into that. Now to give it that coconutty flavor, I am going to use a bit of coconut oil. And the coconut oil is also really important because when you're using turmeric, to activate turmeric, it needs a little bit of fat or oil alongside a little bit of black pepper because combining those two with the turmeric will increase the amount of bioavailability of the turmeric within your system. So my turmeric I have in a little pot up here. So I'm just using plain turmeric and I'm going to add one teaspoon of this into my mixture. If you like turmeric flavour, you could add a little bit more or a little bit less, depending. And then to help activate that, as I mentioned, a grind of black pepper. Then I'm also going to add in a spoonful of the coconut oil. Coconut oil is usually solid at room temperature and then it will melt. Or if you are watching me somewhere hot, it might already be runny. And then talking about runny, I'm going to add a little bit of natural runny honey to sweeten. Up to you whether you add this or not. But I quite like just a tiny bit, particularly if I'm making it for my kids. They like it just slightly sweet. But whichever way you make it, it's really comforting. So all those are now in there. You can see them just all melting down nicely. So then what you need to do is just mix them together. Now, if you've got a milk frother, you can pop all this into a milk frother, like a cappuccino frother, and you could actually make it in that, or you can just whisk it together using a whisk. There we go, really quick, easy, nicely frothy, and then pour that into your mug for a comforting, mug of goodness look at that i've even popped it into my happy mug makes me happy i hope you love it too enjoy